Sodium metal reacts with chlorine gas to produce sodium chloride according to the following reaction. So we're going to go ahead and balance that. And it tells us that we have a certain volume of chlorine gas and a certain mass of sodium metal. So this is a limiting reaction, uh, limiting reagent problem. We need to figure out what the limiting reagent is. So first, we need to figure out the moles of chlorine gas. And um, so we're going to use PV over NT. I'm sorry, PV over RT to give us the moles of chlorine gas that are initial. So it's 5,611 tor over 760 tor. That will take us to atmospheres. And we have a 0.276 liter flask. And here's R. and 748 Kelvin. So that means we have 0.0331 moles of chlorine, and that's a gas. Again, sodium's not gonna obey the gas laws because it's not a gas. So now I'm gonna figure out how many moles of sodium chloride could possibly be produced from the chlorine, and then I'm going to do the same with the sodium. So the molar mass, that's our molar, ra molar ratio, and here's the molar mass of NaCl. That gives us 3.87 grams sodium chloride that is possible from the chlorine, but that might uh, we might not have enough of sodium, so we're gonna do the same thing with sodium. Given the mass, we're gonna change it to moles. Again, it's not gonna obey the gas laws. and change it to grams. And we see that this is 0 0.381 grams of NaCl. So that's what's actually going to be produced. So um, our limiting reagent is sodium. So the maximum mass of product that could be formed comes from the limiting reagent and the excess reagent is chlorine. The next thing we want to do is figure out um, using our limiting reagent so this, by the way, was grams, grams sodium. We're going to actually figure out how many grams of chlorine, or I should say, uh, yeah, moles of chlorine reacted at the same time. So... Only 0 0.00326 moles of chlorine actually reacted. So I'm going to label that as reacted. And we'll see why we left it as moles. Um, if we go down here and we look at, go back up and we look at the moles of Na of chlorine that are initial, so that's initial. And we've got this that's reacted here. 
we can subtract those two and that will give us the moles that are left. So I'm going to take the 0 0.0331 moles of chlorine gas, that's initial, and we're going to subtract 0 0.00326 moles of chlorine gas that reacted at the same time as the sodium. And that's going to give us 0 0.0298 moles of chlorine left. I can then change that into grams. Could have done that in the same step. Don't forget chlorine is diatomic. And that's how much is left over. So what is the uh, leftover amount of limiting reagent? That's going to be 2.12 grams of Cl2. And what's, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Of course that's wrong. It's zero grams of sodium. And what is the amount of excess reagent left over? That's going to be 2.12 grams of chlorine.